here. Come in. Gosh, you're very good at tracking me down wherever I go. It's lovely to see you again. Do come in. Well, this is astonishing. Hello. I am the guest here of the amazing Phil Keggy, whom I'm happy to say I've come to know because of our mutual love of C.S. Lewis and Pipes. So, yeah, come and, come and, um, we've just been doing, I couldn't, this couldn't be better, we're in Nashville, and um, uh, Phil sent me this wonderful email that said, you'd like to do some recording yes, of poetry, right. and I was thrilled. Now, uh, what happened was we, we, was, was it in the spring when I came around here, mm -hmm. and, um, uh, do you know, I was thinking, I, I don't dare ask you to play your guitar, and I just spontaneously started quoting C.S. Lewis's As the Ruin Falls, oh. and you, you, of course you had that. that I put beautiful... that to music back in 1976. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, uh, a friend of mine, Chris Christensen, up in upstate New York, when I shared the poem from uh, a book by yeah. Catherine Lindsgood called Mere Christian. Oh, yeah. Uh, the poem just really touched me. Yeah, no, I think it's almost his best poem. It's, it's beautiful. Um, and, and, you know, that whole relationship with joy, I mean, he's already a profound man, but it deepened him and it brought, yeah. drew things out of him that... Absolutely. And, and, and would friend never of, otherwise have been there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So my friend Chris, he said, you need to put this to music. So I put it to music and it ended up on my second album called Your Love Broke Through. Yeah, Love oh, Broke it's through. just gorgeous. So, you know, it, it's a dream come true that that you might put any of my poetry to music. That's just, just fantastic. I love your poetry, especially when you are yourself reciting your poems yeah. and your sonnets and, and yeah. just beautiful. Well, I always feel when we hear that some of the books we've been using here, some of my poetry books. Um, yes. But uh, I don't think poetry lives on the flat page like that any more than music lives in the notation. Uh -huh. I think a poem has to be breathed into the air. It has to kind of shimmer into being as, as sound exchanged yeah. in the one atmosphere between yeah. people. Mm -hmm. So I've just been reading poetry at a, at a conference here in, in Nashville. I was poet in residence for a, a conference called Sing. And I've done all that, but this is the this is more than the icing on the cake. Oh, <laughs> this is great. the whole cake as the far as I'm top. concerned. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we've done some poems um, from David's Crown. We've done some of my poems on the, um, on the passion of mm -hmm. Christ. Uh, but we couldn't not do something about C.S. Lewis. When did, I mean, have you been reading Lewis all your life or? Uh, since the 70s, since yeah. I'd say probably 73, the year I got married to Bernadette. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we read the Chronicles of Narnia first. Wow. And then Mere Christianity. And then and then so many of the books uh, following that we came to discover the great divorce. And many yeah. thanks to Andrew Lasso Oh, yes, Andrew's given you that beautiful edition. Which edition I, of The Great Divorce that, the great that divorce. you put into my hands last Sunday morning. So Yeah, and the, yeah, so we've got a common love of <laughs> not only Lewis, but Lewisiana, as you yeah. might say, the thing. So um, anyway, um, the other, one of the joys for me has been, you know, just the sound in the studio. And that, I'm just admiring it from afar. That Olsen guitar is just mm -hmm. a work of art in itself. Yeah resonant and ready to be sounded into song anyway yeah. here we are we're not in a library no anymore but we're in a studio and i think there's a lot of similarity actually you know my library has as it were the hidden wisdom and beauty of all the books sleeping and the things i take one out and play it for you but of course this studio is full of sound it's full of the the the, the recordings and the, the the files and the cds mm. you know, over the years and the instruments over there yeah and the drum kit and um and in my, you know, these little spells in the library, I take, I take a, a book out mm -hmm. and read it out. And I'm wondering, Phil, if what we might do is just share a little bit one of the ones did. of what we did, you know. Yeah, this just, is one of yes. Lewis's, uh, one about Lewis. Yeah, this is my poem about C.S. Lewis. Now, I'll tell you the story behind that poem. Okay, okay. I was, I was um, just working on a series of, of sonnets about, about what you might think of as the insular saints, the, the place, the, the, my own native land, you know, the United Kingdom. And I'd written about St. Cuthbert and St. Bede, and, and I'd written about poets that I regard as, as, as lights in the, in the constellation of my faith. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You know, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, for example. And mm -hmm. I thought, I've got to do one for Lewis. And then, at around that time, we were coming towards the, uh, the 50th anniversary of Lewis's death. And um, 
he was finally going to be honoured in Poets' Corner in Westminster Abbey, and I had the great joy of being part of that. It was my friend Michael Ward who really got it going. Yeah, Michael Ward. So, so I've met him. Yeah, but um, I was giving a lecture the day before the actual unveiling, but as part of the whole event in St. Margaret's, Westminster, um, on Lewis and the Imagination. And um, it was a joy to give that, but I thought, I don't want to end it in prose, you know. Lewis, I've written about Lewis's poetry in the, in the Cambridge Companion to, to C.S. Lewis, and I, I just wanted to finish with uh, a, a poem. So I composed that poem. Hello, hi. And, you, and look at this. And you know, Lewis oh, loves wow. kids. He loves kids. Loves <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hey, nice hey, to so see you. Hey, this is, this is Malcolm. That's, hi. That's Towns, and that's hi. Ezra. Hi. Hi. Lovely to buddy. see you two. Hi, guys. We're having a wonderful time <laughs> reading right. poetry. Hey, what is this, Ezzy? Hi. <laughs> this is a pipe. Yeah. Got to learn about the important things first. So, Phil, do you think we could just hear a bit of that? Yeah, just kids want to hear it. Do you want to hear what we did? Great. <laughs> this is just a little draft. Here we go. It's good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. From beer and beowulf to the seven heavens, whose music you conduct from sphere to sphere. You are our portal to those hidden havens Whence we return to bless our being here Scribe of the kingdom Keeper of the door which opens into all we might have lost Word of a word hold in the deep heart's call Telling the tale of love from first to last Generous, capacious, open, free your wardrobe mind has furnished us with worlds through I'm which to it. travel. Whence we learn to see along the beam and hear at last the heralds sounding their summons through the stars that sing, whose call at sunrise brings us to our king. Oh. That's fantastic, Phil. I just uh, such an honour to kind of have my my small art blend with yours. You know? oh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a beautiful that's combo. And my anyway. small art to blend with yours. Yeah, so fantastic um, that you were able to make it to our spell in the library, and this was a spell in the studio instead of. A, but it's a library of sound, and it's great to to, yeah. to have you here. So, uh, thanks so for thanks. visiting us. Yeah, Malcolm. thanks. Thanks for dropping by. Wonderful. Ha <laughs> ha.